the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And also, the community may be seated. Dan and Bobby have come to make their marriage vows in the presence of God and of this assembly. The uniting of this man and this woman in heart, body, and mind is intended by God for their mutual joy, for the help and comfort they give one another in prosperity and adversity, and that their love may be a blessing to all whom they encounter. Let us now witness their promises to each other and surround them with our prayers, giving thanks to God for the gift of marriage and asking God's blessing upon them, that they may be strengthened for their life together and nurtured in their love of God. So we'll begin with Dan. Dan, will you receive Bobby as your wife and bind yourself to her in the covenant of marriage? Will you promise to love and honor her in true devotion, to rejoice with her in times of gladness, to grieve with her in times of sorrow, and to be faithful to her as long as you both shall live? If so, answer, I will. And Bobby, will you receive Dan as your husband and bind yourself to him in the covenant of marriage? Will you promise to love and honor him in true devotion, to rejoice with him in times of gladness, to grieve with him in times of sorrow, and to be faithful to him as long as you both shall live? If so, answer, I will. I will. And there's group participation in this wedding. So family, friends, and all those gathered here with Dan and Bobby, will you support and care for them, sustain and pray for them in times of trouble? Give thanks with them in times of joy. Honor the bonds of their covenant and affirm the love of God reflected in their life together. If so, please answer, we will. We will. All right, and now we'll give thanks for our baptism. Joined to Christ in the waters of baptism, clothed with God's mercy and forgiveness, let us give thanks for the gift of baptism. Holy God, fountain of living water, source of mercy, tender and mighty, you're, you are clothed with majesty and splendor. Your steadfast love fills the earth. Your, Your steadfast love fills the earth. Your love flows through water, satisfying the thirst of all living things, sustaining life in this community, nourishing and delighting Dan and Bobby. We bless you for this gift of water. Your steadfast love fills the earth. Your steadfast love fills the earth. Your love flows through water, a sign of your saving power. Noah and the animals survive the flood. Hagar discovers your well. The Israelites escape through the sea. Naaman washes his leprosy away, and the Samaritan woman will never thirst again. Your steadfast love fills the earth. Your love flows through the water of baptism, joined to your life-giving word. Your well of mercy and cleansing flood, your sea of deliverance from death into life, your healing river washing sin away, your living water springing up to eternal life. Your steadfast love fills the earth. Your steadfast love fills the earth. And shower us with your Holy Spirit. Fill Dan and Bobby with your love. Clothe them and all your people with grace. Embolden us to do justice. Bless us to love mercy. Guide us to walk humbly with you, whom we thank and praise through Jesus Christ, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Amen. And then we'll have our prayer of the day. Let us pray. Gracious God, you sent your Son, Jesus Christ, into the world to reveal your love to all people. Enrich Dan and Bobby with every good gift, that their life together may show forth your love. And grant that at the last we may all celebrate with Christ the marriage feast that has no end. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen.
reading is a reading from Song of Solomon, the eighth chapter. If I met you outside, I would kiss you, and none would despise me. I would lead you and bring you into the house of my mother, and into the chamber of her that conceived me. I would give you spiced wine to drink, the juice of my pomegranate. Oh, that his left hand were under my head, and that his right hand embraced me. I adjure you, O oh daughters of Jerusalem, that you stir not up, nor awaken love until it please. Set me as a seal upon your heart, as a seal upon your arm, for love is strong as death. Jealousy is cruel as the grave. Its flashes are flashes of fire, a most vehement flame. Many waters cannot quench love, neither can floods drown it. If a man offered for love all the wealth of his house, it would be utterly scorned. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our psalm for today is Psalm 145. I will extol thee, my God and King, and bless thy name forever and ever. Every day I will bless thee, and praise thy name forever and ever. Great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised, and his greatness is unsearchable. One generation shall laud thy works to another, and shall declare thy mighty act. On the glorious splendor of thy majesty, and on thy wondrous works, I will meditate. Men shall proclaim the might of thy terrible acts, and I will declare thy greatness. They shall pour forth the, the fame of thy abundant goodness, and shall sing aloud of thy righteousness. The Lord is gracious and merciful slow to anger, and abounding in steadfast love. The Lord is good to all, and his compassion is over all that he has made. All thy works shall give thanks to thee, O Lord, and all thy saints shall bless thee. They shall speak of the glory of thy kingdom and tell of thy power, to make known to the sons of men thy mighty deeds and the glorious splendor of thy kingdom. Thy kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and thy dominion endures throughout all generations. The Lord is faithful in all his words, and gracious in all his deeds. The Lord upholds all who are falling, and raises up all who are bowed down. The eyes of all look to thee, and thou givest them their food in due season. Thy, thou openest thy hand, Thou satisfiest the desire of every living thing. The Lord is just in all his ways, and kind in all his doings. The Lord is near to all who call upon him, to all who call upon him in truth. He fulfills the desire of all who fear him. He also hears their cry and saves them. The Lord preserves all who love him, but, the, but all the wicked he will destroy. My mouth will speak the praise of the Lord, and let all flesh bless his holy name forever and ever. And now our second reading is from Ephesians, parts of chapters 3, 4, and 5. For this reason I bow my knees before the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth is named, that according to the riches of his glory, he may grant you to be strengthened with might through his spirit in the inner man, and that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith, that you, being rooted and grounded in love, may have power to comprehend with all the saints what is the breadth and length and height and depth, and to know the love of Christ which surpasses knowledge, that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. Now to him who by the power at work within us is able to do far more abundantly than all that we ask or think, to him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus to all generations, forever and ever. Amen. Therefore, putting away falsehood, let everyone speak the truth. 
truth with his neighbor, for we are members one of another. Be angry, but do not sin. Do not let the sun go down on your anger, and give no opportunity to the devil. Let the thief no longer steal, but rather let him labor, doing honest work with his hands, so that he may be able to give to those in need. Let no evil talk come out of your mouths, but only such as is good for edifying, as fits the occasion, that it may impart grace to those who hear. And do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God, in whom you are sealed for the day of redemption. Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and slander be put away from you with all malice, and be kind to one another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, as God in Christ forgave you. Therefore, be imitators of God as beloved children, and walk in love as Christ loved us and gave himself up for us, a fragrant offering and sacrifice to God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand for the reading of the gospel. Today's gospel is according to John, the 15th chapter. Glory to Glory you, to Lord. Lord. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. Greater love has no man than, has no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. No longer do I call you servants, for the servant does not know what his master is doing. But I have called you friends. For all that I have heard from my Father, I have made known to you. You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you, that you should go and bear fruit, and that your fruit should abide, so that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give to you. This I command you, to love one another. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise Jesus. Jesus. Please be seated. So... Today is a beautiful day, and one that you too, as well as many others, have been excitedly looking forward to. Dan and Bobby, you are professing your vows to one another, not just in front of your friends and family who are gathered here with you, but also in front of God. And as I was thinking about today and the readings that you two picked out, it is clear that not only is today about the two of you promising to join your lives together, standing with each other during the good times and the hard ones. But also it's about inviting and trusting that God will be present on this journey as well. This focus on worship and community today speaks to your belief that you are not just binding yourselves to each other in marriage, but also trusting that God will call you both out to share this love with others and that you'll be more effective in doing this with each other by your side. Now the love that you two have found is a gift from God. It's one where you're able to find humor during the stressful times, where you can challenge each other, helping one another to grow. It's a love where you are able to show compassion and comfort in times that are hard or painful. It's a love that strives to be selfless, focusing on the needs of one another and leaning on each other for stability. And it's a love that recognizes the gifts that you each bring to this relationship, knowing that you complement each other in meaningful ways. But this love is also so much more than just the two of you together. It's about promising that in this world, as you go about your lives, you will remember and ground yourselves in where this love came from. A love that you are called to model, not just with each other, but in all of your relationships and communities. Now, this love came from the hope that we have found in God. That when the world began, we were lovingly created out of dust, and the very spirit of God breathed life into us. That this love came to dwell with us in human flesh, seeking all those who were left out and excluded and hurt by this world, showing them that God's love is not just for the select few, but for everyone. And then this love is still active today, 
sending us out, guided by the Holy Spirit, to do this work of healing and of inviting, of showing grace and mercy to one another. Now in our second reading for today, we hear that we are to be rooted and grounded in this love, a love that shows us how to care for one another, to let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and slander be put away from us with all malice, and to be kind to one another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, as God in Christ forgave you. Therefore, be imitators of God as beloved children, and walk in love as Christ loved us. We are called to walk in love, imitating Christ who set this example for us. And this is the way that we learn how to love, by following behind God who will guide us and lead us on. Now, that doesn't mean that you're always going to get it perfectly at times. Uh, this is where that whole sinner and saint thing comes into play. Uh, today, all these readings are beautiful and we're all dressed up. We look great, um, feeling really good and hopeful. And that's fantastic because today is a day of joy and celebration. But I have to tell you, and I actually think you already know, that there will be times when this love, making the choice to love one another, will be really difficult. It's not always about a good feeling. If anything, more often than not, it's about being intentional in the care and concern that you show each other. This love is going to be about compromises and disagreements and struggling to lay down your lives for each other. A struggle that involves caring for this person and honoring them, uh, remembering their importance in your life. And that isn't always going to be easy. Sometimes you'll be confused about how to make a tough decision. Sometimes you'll be really angry at each other. And other times you might just wake up one morning and look at the person lying next to you and say, how did we get here? What is going on? <laughs> It is in those moments that you look back to the creator of this love, that you look back to the one who lovingly made everyone, the one who calls each of us beloved. In those times, you remember the promises that you are making today, surrounded by all those who support and love you. If, and I will probably say maybe when, those times come, lean on the God that grounds you in love. Lean on those here who have promised to walk this road with you. You can't live out this love just by yourself. And so in those hard times, trust in the community that will surround you just as they are surrounding you here today. May your marriage be a blessing, not just to each other, but also to all those that you will come in contact with. May this love provide the roots that ground you in God and grow out into all of the other relationships you have, shining God's light to all the world. So today we give thanks to our God, who sustains you, and for the love that you have found in each other. Amen. <laughs> we will now sing our hymn of the day. <laughs>
Dan and Bobby, I invite you to declare your vows to one another, and the congregation can please be seated. I just realized y'all were standing up. <laughs> Dan, if you'll repeat after me. In the presence of God and this community. In the presence of God and this community. I, Dan. I, Dan. Take you, Bobby. Take you, Bobby. To be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. In joy and in sorrow. In joy and in sorrow. In plenty and in want. In plenty and in want. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. In the presence of Bobby. <laughs> in the presence of God and this community. In the presence of God in this community. I, Bobby. I, Bobby, take you, Dan, take you, Dan, to be my husband, to be my husband, to have and to hold, to have and to hold from this day forward, from this day forward, in joy and in sorrow, in joy and in sorrow, in plenty and in want, in plenty and in want, in sickness and in health, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, to love and to cherish as long as we both shall live, as long as we both shall live. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. All right, and Tim, if you have the links. <laughs> They're in there. All right, we'll do a prayer over them first. Yep, that's okay. <laughs> we'll pray. Uh, we give you thanks, O oh God, of grace for your love and faithfulness to your people. May these rings be symbols of the promise Dan and Bobby have made with each other through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Bobby, I give you this ring. Bobby, I give you this ring. As a sign of my love and faithfulness. As a sign of my love and faithfulness. With all that I am. With all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. Bobby, if you want to reach over and grab that Dan's ring. <laughs> Dan, I give you this ring. Dan, I give you this ring. As a sign of my love and faithfulness. As a sign of my love and faithfulness. With all that I am. With all that I am. And all that I have. All that I have. I honor you. I honor you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father and of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dan and Bobby, by their promises before God and in the presence of this assembly, have joined themselves to one another as husband and wife. Those whom God has joined together, let no one separate. Amen. Amen. Thanks. Thanks be to God. All right, and if you guys want to come and kneel, come to your house. Blessed are you, O God. Holy is your presence. Glorious is your peace. You made humans to love and to be loved. You call us together into community so that we might not live and die alone. Bless now Dan and Bobby as they commit themselves to one another. As you have blessed your faithful people throughout time and around the earth, we ask now that you bless the union of their lives. Blessed are you, O God, Father of mercies. Pour your mercy over Dan and Bobby, that they may know your loving kindness and share your mercy with one another. Blessed are you, O God, Mother of life. Create for Dan and Bobby countless occasions when they may share their life with the world. Blessed are you, O oh God, you are our home. Abide in their dwelling, that it may be a place of warmth and protection, hospitality and generosity. Blessed are you, O oh God, you are the horizon of our days. Shine always before them, that they may journey into the future with you ever in their view. Blessed are you, O oh God, you are the everlasting arms. Protect them from danger, support them in trouble, comfort them in sorrow. Embrace them with your tender strength all the days of their lives. And blessed are you, O oh God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Give to Dan and Bobby and to all people your love that surpasses understanding. May we, with the whole earth, praise your goodness now and forever. Amen. 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 We'll continue.
continue our service with the prayers of intercession. On this day of rejoicing, let us bless God for the divine love made flesh in Jesus Christ. We praise you, O oh God, for the joy that Dan and Bobby have found in each other. And we pray that their love and faithfulness may reflect your gracious love and enrich our common life. Gracious and faithful God, hear our prayers. Give them gentleness and patience, affection and understanding, readiness to trust one another, and when they hurt each other, grace to acknowledge their fault and to give and receive forgiveness. Gracious and faithful God, hear our prayers. Use us to support Dan and Bobby in their life together. Give us such a sense of your com constant love that we may employ all of our strength in a life of praise of you. Gracious and faithful God, strengthen and bless friends and family gathered here, even as we call to mind those who are absent from us. Console those who mourn the loss of loved ones and be present with those for whom love is a stranger. Gracious and faithful God, hear our prayer. Look graciously on the world you have made and for which your son gave his life. Strengthen marriages, families, and communities everywhere. Defend and guide all who suffer want or anxiety. Gracious and faithful God, hear our prayer. And we give, you thank we give thanks to you, merciful God, for those who have died, especially today remembering Phil, Ralph, Robert, Anne, Charlie, Marion, Chicken, Milton, Cindy, and all those we name in our hearts. Strengthen us by the example of the saints and bring us all to the marriage feast of the Lamb. Gracious and faithful God, hear our prayer. Most gracious God, you have made us in your image and given us over to one another's care. Hear the prayers of your people that unity may overcome division, hope vanquish despair, and joy conquer sorrow. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Now may the peace of Christ be with you always. You can stand and share that peace with one another.
we praise your name and join their unending hymn. Receive the wafer from me, 
receive wine or grape juice from Erlene. Um, the wine is the red cups, the grape juice is the white colored cups. Um, and then you will, uh, on your way back to your pews, you will find empty trays on either side to put your cup back in. Uh, Gluten-free wafers are also available as well. Just let me know if you need that. In Christ's presence, there is fullness of joy. Come to the banquet.
you are able. And Now may the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ strengthen you and keep you in his grace. Amen. Amen. Loving God, we thank you that you have fed us in this holy meal, united us with Christ, and given us a foretaste of the heavenly banquet. So strengthen us in your service that our daily lives may show our thanks. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. 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 Now God Almighty, send you light and truth all the days of your life. The hand of God protect you, the holy angels accompany you, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you now and forever. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. And now, it is my great honor to introduce you for the first time to Mr. and Mrs. Dan and Bobby May. Make this your class.
Thank you. <laughs> Beautiful job today. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>